So our next speaker, speaker Philip Pape, is delivering his evaluation feedback speech two for the presentation mastery path. Are you on the fence about talk, taking the leap into a new venture or idea? In his speech, Philip will set the stage for why you might just want to take action today, but not for the reasons you might be thinking. Let's welcome Philip Pape with his speech, Sometimes Too Much is Just Right. Philip Pape? Aristotle famously once said that the whole is greater than the sum of the parts, implying that we can take individual things, ideas, and combine them in potentially new, transformative, special ways that wouldn't have existed otherwise. Think about the brain. The brain is composed of millions of neurons that each individually can't think. But together, they form a symphony of chemical synapses that form what we know as the human mind, the ability to reason, to think, to create art, music, science, and even communication. Think about large organizations. We take thousands of otherwise individually very talented people, but together they can design and build things like a space station or life-saving vaccines, or even a centuries old global volunteer run public speaking organization. Consider even this glass of water, which is composed of sand and fire, but with the skilled hand of a glass blower or a human who designed a machine to blow glass, we get this functionally elegant tool to drink liquids. Now, what does this have to do with you and me? In my time on this planet, I've come to realize that a growth mindset, one of abundance of change of continuous learning rather than a static mindset has led me to try many new things over the years, sometimes at the brink of my capacity in the hopes that two or more of those things will combine one day to become greater than the sum of its parts. And if today you are on the fence about some idea, some venture that you're just hesitant to leap into, I'm here to offer encouragement. Take us back to 2011. I was struggling at work in terms of my communication skills. I was very good technically, but I didn't know how to get my ideas out in front of a group. So after many fits and starts with different training programs, I discovered Toastmasters. And we know how wonderful this organization is because it's a simple concept. It's a learning lab where we practice, get feedback, grow from that feedback, and thus we reduce uncertainty over time in our mind and increase our confidence. Yes, this improved my communication skills, but it also led to greater confidence in my career that opened up opportunities and doors that never would have existed before, taking me on a different path. Fast forward to 2019. It's October. My birthday's coming up, so are the holidays, Thanksgiving and Christmas. And I was turning 39, I was about to be 40, and I thought, I finally need to get my act together, and I want to be in the best shape of my life by the time I'm 40. Now, I had tried over the last decade with CrossFit and low-carb diets. None of these things really worked. So I committed, I met with my coach, and he said, let's, let's get you off those boot camps and get you onto a strength program. Great. So I started doing that. But then 2020 rolls around and we get the pandemic, the global COVID pandemic, leading to lockdowns and the inability to go to a gym. I could have taken this as an obstacle in my way or as an excuse, but instead I looked at it as a challenge. How can I continue my programming with the limited equipment I have? And then how resourceful can I be to go acquire pieces of equipment, build a gym, so I never have to rely on others again? So I spent the next two years through two surgeries as well. I had a back surgery and an appendectomy. And months into that process, I also realized I needed to get my nutrition together. And I started to read podcasts, watch videos, read books, learn everything I could about this new passion of mine. Now you're wondering what these two stories have to do with each other. And this is where the sum comes into place. Late 2021, I had to do an advanced project for Toastmasters. And one of the options was to create a podcast. And very much like Stephanie recently did the, the project and kind of found it surprising to jump into that, three things came to mind. Number one, I have an idea. 
I already love something that I'm doing today that I've been working on for two years, this whole lifting nutrition thing. Number two, I'm comfortable with technology. And number three, Toastmasters has given me the confidence and communication skills to make it happen. So I started a podcast. And if the story ended there, that'd be a nice ending. However, about 10 episodes into that podcast, a coworker of mine, she's a power lifter. She called me out of the blue, left a voicemail and said, I've been binging your show for about a week and I've learned more about nutrition and lifting than I have in my entire life, despite being a lifter who has a nutrition coach. And I said, well, that, that's awesome. That's very inspiring. Can you come on my show? We can just have a chat as a, an interview. So she did. It was a great chat. We didn't even talk about nutrition. And then after the interview, privately, we had a talk and she said, I think you'd be a great coach. You want to give that a shot? I would be your client because my contract's expiring soon. And I said, well, this is something I never considered. And so now I'm two thirds of the way into nutrition coaching certification. And if nothing else comes from this, I've been working with eight very awesome people who agreed to be my test clients. And in some way, I believe I've helped them. And my point of this story is you never know what the decisions you make in life, how they're going to converge into a sum that is greater than the parts and allow you to transform perhaps just yourself, but even better others. So I ask you again, if you're on the fence about an idea, about a venture, you're not sure whether to take the leap, you have two options. The first, do nothing, nothing changes. The second, take action, and the infinite possibilities of transformation are out there for you to take. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster. Thank you, Philip. Thanks for a nice informative speech. I learned a lot from that.